Hello everybody, Eminent Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4. In the last episode, we were finally able to justify a war because we got over 50% uh, world tension because of a few things that happened there. The Angelus and a few other things. Um, and we justified a war against Bulgaria and basically crushed the country in a matter of days. So... That was a fairly easy win. All right, so now we need to decide what we're going to do next. And we got a few problems about that. Because A, Albania is independence guaranteed by Italy. Uh, Yugoslavia has their independence guaranteed by France. And Romania has their independence guaranteed by the UK and France. And the Germans have war goals against the Kingdom of Romania, so Germany is probably going to declare war on Romania and start World War II over Romania instead of Poland. Well, Poland's part of the Allies, so Poland will get crushed. Um, so that makes things a little interesting. We do have Turkey here, and we do have a national focus over here to demand Eastern Thrace. Now, um, we can go ahead and we, do, we can do that, and then Turkey will either give us Eastern Thrace, which is this section right here, or refuse and we go to war. And hopefully, nobody is going to guarantee Turkey before that happens. So, we shall see. Taking on Turkey is going to be an undertaking. And uh, we'll have to see how it plays out. Alright, we're going to go ahead and unpause it. We're going to get this thing rolling here. These guys all got to get to the front. And actually, it looks like that... Got a bunch of guys that have lost a level of training. But they're very close. So we're going to go ahead and put this army back on exercise. Uh, just until those guys get back up to speed. Now, one thing I also want to do... So we got a lot of guys that need some training. Um, is I want to do... an amphibious invasion. Utilizing some of these guys. So... Let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's split them off. It's a new army. I'll take you, make you red. And I'm actually going to have you guys uh, redeploy over here. And I want you to exercise when you get there. And I'm going to set up an amphibious invasion from here to here. And then give them a... Light tank one. Okay, uh, let's see. I want them to push into Istanbul. Because the goal here is to hopefully that the Turks line up here on the front and engage. And if we can't move, is that these guys are going to swing in behind. We can grab Istanbul and basically cut them off. Create this as a pocket and destroy a large chunk of their army, uh, which will really help get Turkey defeated. So, that is the initial plan. Now, what do we want to do? Do we want to go for next light tank? Or do we want to start getting some other things? It is 1939.
I say we go for field hospital. And what I'm actually going to do with these tanks, let me just keep things rolling here. Um, we need, well, we need steel, lots of it. Uh, I guess we'll go ahead and we'll continue to buy that from Germany. We did get a bunch of civilian factories from Bulgaria, so that's nice. So we can trade that out. And we need some oil. Instead of trading for oil, I am going to build a synthetic oil plant. In fact, I'm going to queue up some more stuff here. Yeah, there we go. Let's add another unit here, add another unit here. We have some army experience. Now I don't want to do support artillery. Decryption, frequency analysis. Oh, we got motorized infantry divisions. Uh, let's add in recon and engineers to those. And actually let's queue up a few of those. Research slot available. Uh, for research slot... What should we take? Let me pause it here for a second while I think. Um, let's take this. The improved infantry equipment. Alright, how uh, are these guys looking? I don't want to have these guys exercising for too long. Mainly because, you know, they're costing us some equipment. Alright, so this is almost done 10 days. Oh, what I wanted to do with the tanks is I don't want to just swap these up right now. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do this. I am going to add a new line for tanks, light tank ones. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to swap over one of the factories. And then once the efficiency builds up on light tank 1s, we will get rid of Great War tanks. And then swap that factory in here. Try to, you know, gradually shift from Great War tanks to light tank 1s. Because the Great War tanks are still better than nothing right now. And I need them to fill in our tank divisions. Because right now our tank divisions don't have any tanks. So they're hard to call them tank divisions if they have no tanks. Um, they're really lightweight infantry divisions at the moment. Uh, let's see. Um, do we want to go for this? Do we want to go for this? Eastern Thracer War. Or do we want to wait for World War II to start? Before doing that... Uh... Well, let's just do it. Let's just do it and we'll see what happens. Alright, what do we even want to do for research? And I think, you know, maybe we should get some tank destroyers and some SPGs. Um, you know what, let's get some light SPGs. Self-propelled artillery pieces. Because if we're going to have, we're, we're going to start, ooh, 
We're going to start uh, getting some motorized uh, divisions. We're going to want them to have light uh, motorized artillery, self propelled. Um, none of this is that important right now. I'm going to go ahead and take this guy to make sure that we stay non aligned. We need four more steel. Alright, let's just keep getting steel from Germany for the moment. How's construction? Construction's okay. Could use some more civilian factories, but if we take out Turkey, then we're definitely going to get in. Oh, crap. They've been guaranteed by Britain and France. So either we go for it and we go to war with the Allies or we are just stuck and go for something else. I don't even know what. We can't take on Italy. Maybe we could take on Spain? Are we gonna take on Spain? I'm not strong enough to go toe to toe with the Allies right now. And what I was really kind of hoping to do is to actually go to war with the Axis once World War II breaks out. Because if I can get enough participation in World War II and grab maybe chunks of Italy in the Peace Conference. That would be good. Um, what if that focus is complete? Oh, we're stuck. We are stuck. I can't. So the only thing we can hope is that... Turkey acquiesces and gives us uh, Thrace. Oh boy. Let's crank it up and let's see what happens. Oil. Well, we're working on that. How is the training going? Uh, it should be good enough now. We're going to go ahead and we're going to stop training there. Well, these guys are almost completely trained up. Mobile defense. I'm going to keep working on my doctrines here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, recovery rate. Or soft attack. We're going to go with a soft attack. There we go. All right, these guys are done. Oh, German Reich declared war on the Kingdom of Romania. Kingdom of Romania joined the Allies. And there we go. World War II has started. All right. Let's go ahead and let's crank on light tanks. Can I do anything here? Let's actually get some engineer companies. Light self-propelled artillery. Technology to research. Let's get better fighters. Uh, let's see. Light SPGs. Where could I pull pull a factory for that? I 
And, oh, I just spent the experience. Let's see. 20 days to go. Oh, they're attacking Poland. Albanian occupation, okay, so Italy is about to occupy Albania. <sighs> See, that's the one thing. Well, we probably never would have been able to get here before then, but... If we had gone fascist, I probably would have been able to get Yugoslavia before the Allies could start guaranteeing everybody under the sun. Um, but it's alright. We'll, we'll try to work around it. and Who knows? We'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Failure is always an option. Turkey rejects the ultimatum. We're at war with Turkey. And... Let's go mass conscription. No template for the artillery. Yes, I know. Let's just hope that the Allies are so busy dealing with the Axis right now that they don't really deal with us. Because they will have to get through Italy's fleet to get to us. Okay, so... Patrol, here. German right claims memo. Turkey is called France. Turkey is called UK. British Raj. Oh boy. Send volunteers requests from Italy. Um, sure, Italy. Invite the faction from the German from the Third Reich. No, non-aggression pact. Yes, except actually, Italy. Oh, Italy's not in the Axis. Turkey joined the Allies. Oh, that's right. Romania just joined. Oh, crap. Alright. Well, you guys, get off of here. Get up there. And actually, you know what? These guys... We don't need to do that anymore. Delete all orders. You guys actually merge into this army. And get to this front. And you guys get ready to attack Romania. Oh, we lost... We lost a destroyer. Ah, okay. Um, we lost three destroyers. Oh no! We lost our fleet! Oh! Crap. <sighs> yep, we lost our entire fleet. Or rather, we are about to because they keep chasing us down. That's not good. Everybody just stay in port right now. Oh, that is not what I wanted to have happen. Non-aggression pack from Hungary. Yep, we're going to take that. Send volunteers request from the Soviet Union. Actually, we're going to take that. Send volunteers request from Venezuela. Sure.
Oh, uh, well. You guys, attack. German right declared war on Luxembourg. They war on Belgium. Luxembourg was annexed. Oh, good. They declared war on Luxembourg and Belgium, which means that they're going to be able to get around the Maginot Line, hopefully. All right. Looks like we're in this not as part of the Allies, but Italy joined the Axis. Non-aggression pact from Italy. Yes. Okay. Fall of Warsaw. Poland didn't stand a chance. No, they didn't. Uh... Netherlands joined the Allies. German declared war in the Netherlands. Three divisions, Venezuela has promised. Four divisions, Soviet Union has promised, has arrived. Okay. Free military factories. Let's get some more artillery rolling. Oh, did we get a bunch of military factories from... Yeah, we did. Uh, new tech. New tech. We've got logistics companies. Uh, let's see. Light tank twos. Well, now that we're at war with... With the Allies. Uh, can you guys launch your attacks, please? We need to take down Romania. Turkey can actually wait. Uh, you guys get over here on that. Oh, that's not our fleet. That's a different fleet. Pact of Steel. Okay, this, this may be fine. This might be fine. Um... As long as our friends in the Axis, Kingdom of Romania has capitulated, can protect us, and we can protect them and assist, uh, this could work. Alright, Romania capitulated. I want all... All the artillery and all the infantry equipment we can. Did we get better infantry equipment yet? No. 20 days. Okay. Oh, shipyards. Uh, shipyards. What are we doing for shipyards? I need destroyers. I need submarines. And I need battleships. And we're going to say we're going to put all these into Thessaly. Okay. Alright. You guys get in there and clean up these pockets. Once those pockets are dealt with, then we can get those guys over there. Ah, oh, I'm really bummed about losing the fleet. I completely forgot about it. Ah, oh, well. Uh, we'll get it back. Bigger and better than it was before. Uh, bomber interception. Okay, so let's see. Speaking of bombers, where are you guys? You're over Greece. Okay, stay over Greece. Uh, what actually do we have? 
We have 16 enemy support planes. Do I have any more air wings? No, I don't. Ah, because that air wing isn't full yet. See, that's what, the Romanian fleet? Uh, you guys, get over there. Launch your attacks. Launch attacks. Get these guys wiped out. We need to get this flank secured. And we are going to suddenly need garrison forces. So I need to take... Uh, I need to go to Division Designer. I want to go for a empty template. I don't have MPs. Oh well. We can add them in later. Uh, we're going to go with... Cavalry. No, not motorized. Cavalry, cavalry. We're going to call this um, Garrison. We're going to give it the Garrison symbol. Save that template. All right. Start training these guys. Start deploying them to Sophia, I guess. Actually, let's back these guys off to normal. Okay, so you guys actually attack them. join in there. Okay, so they're going to take care of that. Then we're going to need to get them down to the boss for us. Okay, so you guys... Get down to the Bosphorus. Ah, we got the new infantry equipment. Okay, so it is 1940, so let's go ahead and get... Uh, actually, let's get the MPs. Let's get the MPs. And actually, let's split off... Let's split off. One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's split off ten of these guys. Let's just give them. Well, they don't really need a commander right now. We're gonna make them black. Create a new theater for them. Call this Garrison and you guys. No, no, we need to garrison Hungary, like Hungary, Romania. All right. All right, and actually, I'm going to take these guys and I'm going to say change division template. To the garrison template. I should put a lot of equipment and inventory back in the pool. Okay. Poland is capitulated. A 
Come on, guys, get in Istanbul. Mass conscription. Italy pursues closer bonds with Germany. Well, they're part of the same. Uh, let's go ahead and develop freight. Thrace is going to get us two military factories. That will be helpful. All right, so it looks like that these infantry have finally recovered their organization, have joined the Battle of Istanbul. Then we need to garrison all of ah, field hospitals. Ooh, field hospitals. Let's go ahead and let's get the better support weapons. So far. So good. We haven't been immediately, um, you know, have immediate naval invasions that we've had to deal with. That was what I was worried about. Ooh. Ooh. Yugoslavia is a big, juicy target right now. If they're still kicking around when, by the time we take down Turkey, then we're going to swing over and get Yugoslavia because we're already at war with the Allies. Who cares if we, you know, you know, make France more angry at us? Okay, um, and actually, we are past the thirty-minute mark, so what I'm probably going to do. Uh, actually, can, can, can we just like take the city? Let me just get Istanbul. Battle is going very slowly, but it is progressing in our favor. Where are those volunteers? The volunteers are just sitting here. Up, oh, Nationalist Spain finally won the Spanish Civil War. We may also take Spain. Oh, they moved in a whole bunch of reinforcements. Ah. We might need to do that amphibious invasion. The problem is... Enemy fleets in the Eastern Mediterranean Sea. That's what cost us our, our main fleet. Actually, let me change this. While I'm thinking about it, we don't want to go to Thessaly, actually. We want to go... Let's, see, let's put them directly into... Let's merge the fleets up, and let's just move them directly into the fleet. So... Just deploy directly to the fleet. Because we're not putting them anywhere else. Yep, looks like there's still enemy fleets kicking around in here. Yep, I think we're going to have to end around... We're going to have to end around Istanbul. Probably have to come in here and try and get to this port. Okay, well, I'll have to figure out what we're going to do about that when we come back. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.